to take the advantage. Tries to storm out of the middle, and it's aggressive line for Kerno. For a fifth goal of the second turn, the Blues are vibrant and loving it. A penetrating ball towards Kerno. A handball to Fogarty. Welcome back to Carlton. As well, not making Kerno go back and kick from the angle, but allowing him to hand pass to a player running into an open goal. Kennedy. Kerno from behind. He had Ballard exactly where he wanted. <laughs> He's never missed from this position. And that's not about to change on a day like today for Chuck. Cripps. Oh, Kerno got a shove. Actually paid in the back for more. Kerno approached it in the right manner. The pressure just evaporated. Oh, and oh, Cripps oh. takes the marks. Two goals to Chera. A goal to Kennedy. Is it Cunningham? Wobbles it to full forward. Kerno. Front spot. Got it. Strong handed. Last game here against the Gold Coast. 2 2. Splits the middle perfectly. Game. It's important for Carlton to start off well with those set shots. That was relative. Rising star nomination this year. Weddle having a good year. Fogarty over the note. Akers in the Charlie Kerno direction. He's got a cable to beat Charlie. Possession. Gets it in Charlie's direction. He got there. Brilliant. Gets on the end of the McGovern skip kick. Kerno over the top. Now he had Mackay for a split second. He goes central and instead finds the chest of Ollie. Squeezes it in. Elite pressure. And then they're going as a collective. Their running power has been so dominant in this game. Martin over the top or the longer kick to Charlie Kerno. He's had the foot surgery as a setback, but started to grow as a player as well. Kerno made the commitment blank, took his legs out a little, got the share in the meantime, wrap around, tackle the ball up. Mackay wants the pass option in five, goes to Charlie. He goes inside again to Chera. Chera again, straight down the spine to Kerno, got down low. Charlie Kerno needs to lean through this one. For a 45th for the season with ease and a prayer. Mate, so just got his weight hitting in the direction of the goals. Just laid off a couple today that he's missed. Kick to Kennedy. Wheels sends it to the pocket. Kerno, great spacing, got rid of his opponent, played on and snaps it home. One-on-one, -on -one, Cox versus Kerno. He plays on and does a lovely check side. Just to highlight what you've been just talking about now. You've got the arms clear, Chera on the boot. Kerno in front. Well constructed. Fremantle found some fight in this second term, but the Blues hit back. And Kerno's got two. <laughs> Away, Cripps. Over the top, Carlton again. Just walking their way through the Fremantle defence. And Kerno kicks another. Handball, and if Kerno doesn't kick that, he's got Harry Mackay top of the goal square. Little step, Mackay gives him something. It's wide, but it's worth it. Same through the middle. Hewitt just slammed it on the boot. Get it in there as quickly as you can to Kerno. Martin doubles back to the square. He's going to have to fly against Bert. He didn't have to fly at all. Took care of Bergman. I don't want to ex expose Tom Jonas back on Charlie Kerno again, and now he gets a big one on one win on Lalia. Depth on the kick that the mark is taken by And that time, oh, they didn't have it completely sorted. Kerno gets an opportunity away from Aaliyah and back to goal. And the Blues fans are cheering and cheering. It's just working beautifully. And then the, the, simplicity, the, the simplicity of what they're doing and how they're getting their goals is a lesson for them going forward. Off to Newman. Now the bounce for Kerno. You can see the idea, favoured putt, it's really one of the best way to take the sting out of any potential. He's been an intercept marking beast. Oh, how about that from Walsh for Charlie Curdo. He's without his mate Harry Mackay, but he is leading the way up forward. Take that! They are powering forward. Cutting. And then 
Turno. It really has been a tight 50. He was spoilt for choice. As easy as you like for Akers, and even easier for Charlie. Well, the Hayden will have done a heavy doing that, Jason. <laughs> Boyle, Mitch McGovern at half back. This day, we saw him do it earlier in the. You can start to really do your homework on them and well, a selfless. Yeah. Oh, Kurno! He is going to enjoy this. Pure athleticism yeah. in the last quarter. So him against any defender, Hutto. It's 15 all. He grubbers it. He soccers it. Is he starting with a red hot? Free kick. He sees something he likes and he goes in the Kurno direction. For his second goal in the first eight minutes. And there's a smack. So Kelly is going to have to just be a hunter. It's a one man show. Charlie putting on a clinic. Well, it was an unusual Tom Hawkins because he was in the front spot, went round the back. Last three quarters as Doherty thumps it long. And it might go the way. Charlie will love. He skips. Welcome to your nightmare. A raffle. Cunningham. He pulls out the winning ticket. Goes to. And with the hook kick. For a super six before half time. He makes it look easy. Getting pretty about the second. He's got seven. Gets. Shrugs and spears to Charlie. Can he get to eight? It's hit him. Is that on the boot? No. He plays on. His eyes light up from 70 out. He's. Is where is he? Here we go. Kerno. Oh, not quite. Gathers a crumb. Spins it around for an all-time high of ten. Is he blue? Well, that was one of his finest of the afternoon. It came from a mark that hit the dead. Been booted. Charlie Kerno gets there and he almost blues. Charlie Kerno jams it through. Hits it quickly to Motlop. The dangerous Kerno. Such a brilliant field kick. Look at that. Oh, he's looked carefully inside, places it for Kerno. Kerno is there. Quite... We're right behind him. Yes, he has slid that through. They respond. To come across and help out third man in. He's done it so well all year, but... Martin's been huge. Here's Kerno for number three. Ah, this is a star we're looking at. Last year he's going for goal number 65 right now and he kicks the goal and never more important one. 23. Have a listen. Wow. Eyes for Charlie Kerno. It's becoming a big night for number six. 6 of the big ones. This side of the ground, the Blues in large numbers. I reckon they've got about a four on two here, and Kerno just outstretches battle. Expansive handball was creative. Hewitt to Martin, and now Kerno, 65 from goal. He'll turn and look inside. He's got an option. It's the hard running acres. Strength of theirs already, you can see. And like we touched on, Kerno's ability to be up. Look at Owies go. He's going to get it over the top. Owies, good position. Does he turn and go himself? Gives it off. Kerno snaps and goals. <laughs> Picked off by Pitnett. The Blues go inside. Fit to get Charlie. Brilliant. Rivers Dow. Dow just goes long into the pocket. Charlie's there. Charlie flies. Only <laughs> kicked the most goals in the the comp. Last year and then leading the common Koning and Kerno. Doherty to Hewitt onto the left to Kerno. A little bit too far out, but that kick is 13 out of 10. Oh, that out of sight. Outruns Langdon. Rain starts to come again. Doesn't face Kerno. Couldn't quite find Salem, so the Blues are away again. This time, Cripps' delivery spot on to Charlie Kerno. The first goal of the evening. Charlie's got two. The by Charlie Kerno. But Paddy Cripps has been supreme early in this last quarter. 
Certainly you think of Silvani, Chera. We have only a couple of Blues to have played every game this year. 70 goals, 40 for the year. Make it 71. Just a high ball. Made it tough for Charlie Curdo. Who's going to make it look easy? And Charlie's starting to come. With a bit of a turn around, so. And now they get some run. Akers will just drive it in deep. Curdo again! McAndrew just tiring out a little bit. He would have normally been there. Charlie for three on the trot. And the Blues are back in the contest. Atkins is no slouch though. Well done, Cottrell. Oh, great skill. Really good kick. Open forward line. This is where Charlie's at his best. Look at that. Transition by Carlton. And that's as good as you'll see. First the kick from Cottrell and then absolutely perfect. Lloyd Johnston just did enough, although they're pressing here, the Blues. Akers had a good turn. The kick towards Charlie. And him and Ballard, but now it's well and truly settled into the game. It was the second quarter in round 14 that got the Blues season back on track. Andrew couldn't get it. Motlop pulls the kick at the last minute. Kerno found space. That could be. Kerno's going to wheel and go for number oh, five. Oh, what a kick. Bread and butter for the... St Kerno stepping up when it matters yeah. most. There's the kick to Harry. That's what Carton fans want to see. He's going to go himself. It's going to go to the top of the square. Standing there, Charlie. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. Kerno in front. Didn't try and take it himself. That's the team first blues for you. Very clever indeed. Mackay timed his run. Durden to the square. Charlie Curno, he's not going to wait. He has drawn level and drawn a mighty cheer. Played on. Curno's coming. He's timed it. He's got it. <laughs> As he led the way and won the Coleman medal. Now he's gone back to back. He's a star for all to see. Crowd of at least 45,000, you would think, here at Marvel Stadium. It's a for further assessment. Dow. That's what we saw in him as a kid. Blues fighting over it. He kicked two. Time for a third.